What is going on everyone? Welcome back to the channel. Today I will be showing you how I paint Michael Myers mask and I'm going to be doing it with this mask that's in this package. I, I just love how they pack to these things. This is a Trick or Treat Studios uh, 78 that I purchased on eBay. This isn't from Trick or Treat Studios but this is from eBay and it's from a, uh, a, a business here locally in California. But I really, I really enjoy this. But anyways, Yes, today I'm going to be showing you how I paint Michael Myers masks. Now, I am shooting this on my Samsung Galaxy S20 Ultra. FYI, um, everything I do in this video, it may not work for you. I've been offered or been given uh, tips from many people, and a majority, if not all of them, have never worked out for me. So, I can't guarantee what I'm going to be doing in this video is going to help you in the end, but I hope it gets you somewhere. Uh, I'll be showing you how I mix paints what I mix, uh, all that good stuff. Uh, and in my, with my technique and with what I do, there's no cracking, there's no chipping, there's no paint that's coming off unless I forcibly remove it using naphtha or even lacquer thinner. Uh, but let's, let's get to the video. I know that's what you wanna see. So let me show you how I mix my flesh color and my white. Let's get to it. All right, so here is a table full of some things. Uh, under the table, I have uh, some drawers so I have a lot of paints put away in there. Now, another FYI for all of you, I'm not telling you this is the right way. I'm not telling you that this is the wrong way. This might be the wrong way to a lot of people, and that's totally fine, but I'm, I'm just gonna tell you right now, it works for me. It's the James Grimm way, it's what I do. So uh, if it works, it works. You know, that's that's all I gotta say about that. But you, you see I have four water bottles here. So what I like to do, now I'm sure there's a uh, hundred ways you can do this a lot easier and, and less tedious. But what I like to do is this. I like to take a bottle, um, preferably as empty as it can be. I guess it doesn't really matter because water is going to go in it anyways. But I'll, I'll take the water bottle and I will cut it probably about there. I'm trying to look at the camera to make sure you can see what I'm doing here. But I'll cut all the way around. Now, guys, there is this thing. Well, guys and girls. There's this thing where people say, uh, make sure you mix equal parts water, latex, uh, paint. I don't follow that. I've tried, and that shit just does not work for me. It doesn't work for me, so I just do it by eye. I, I don't do it any other way. That's just the, the way I do it. And we're going to do two of these, because one of these is going to be for... The, the flesh, and one's going to be for the white. So, without fucking stabbing myself, I'm going to cut out this again. You know. Now, I know uh, there's been stories going on for years and years and years that the mask was fish belly white, bass belly white, appliance white, I think that is. Maybe it's something else. I don't know. But what gives it that illusion is the Captain Kirk mask. Now, I could be wrong. Correct me in the comments. You know, usually that, that will happen. Uh, the Captain Kirk mask was kind of on the tan side. Kind of orangey. <coughs> Sorry. Um, so, so when that white hit it, it just created that illusion. You know, Tommy Lee Wallace has changed his story so many times throughout the years. But anyways, anyways, anyways. So what we're going to do here... So I'm gonna start off with mixing my white. And I have some of this, I think it's called bear paint. I don't know how to pronounce that. It's, this is the, you can get this at Home Depot for like $2.99, five bucks maybe. Eggshell enamel. So I use this. Uh, I don't know if this is the one I use. I, I think there might be another one around here somewhere. But I take a little bit of this Take a little bit of this titanium white from Liquitex. A little pricey. I get this from Michaels. And then I will go and get some RD-407 from Monster Makers. Now we'll slowly just kind of not put too much in there. But we'll put some in there. Because I'm not making I'm not making a big batch. Alright, that's a good amount of latex. It's actually probably more than I really wanted to do. And take uh, some of your wipes and just kind of wipe it off. And then we're going to take some of this 
Lucratex Basics. Shake it up a little bit. Now, like I said, I eye this, so... So, you know, I, I, I don't know what's right, I don't know what's wrong. I just do my shit. Just make sure you can see what I'm doing. I'm just move this here, so you can kind of see a little bit more. And I will take this... See, the white Monster Makers I got, that shit was... The white latex, it was, it was fucking thin. So we're gonna take it. We're gonna go right there. That's more than enough. And now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take that brush. Oh no, I'm not gonna. I'm just gonna do a different one. Oh shit, my brushes. And then I'm just gonna start mixing it, right? So now we have the Monster Maker's latex in here. We have the bare paint, the eggshell white. And we have some of the Liquitex Basics uh, Titanium White. And uh, you can kind of see it looks thick. I haven't added water yet, though. All right, so I'm just going to drop a little bit of water in here. Let me make sure you can see. Okay. And this is just to thin it out a little bit. And I want to thin it out because I'm going to be putting it oops, in a water bottle. And I'll show you that in a moment. So I just, want to, I just want to stir it up more. Stir it up more. I feel like it's going to need a little bit more latex, but it's okay. We'll get there. All right, so for now, I'm going to take one of these extra water bottles. And I'm going to take this. I'm going to pinch it so it kind of becomes like this. Be, make, it, make it easier to, to pour it. So I'm going to pour this shit into this water bottle. And you can see. Okay, cool. You just gotta be, uh, just take your time with it. Might spill a little bit, but it's okay. Alright, and there's still some paint at the bottom. So what I want to do is I want to go ahead and add a little bit of water there. Mix it up and water it down a little bit. And then, just repeat. Do that until I can get the bottom of the paint and bottom of the latex out. Don't want to waste it. So I'll just keep going, 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 going. But I feel like this video is going to be fucking long. I feel like I'm taking so much time just mixing right now. I might shorten it up a little bit. I don't know. Okay. So, mix it up, now we're going to go ahead and do the same thing. That's good. So, that's what we have right now. Usually, usually I do a lot more, but I'm just showing you kind of an example. And then I'll put the top on, make sure it's tight. And then I'll just kind of like a baby's uh, like a baby's milk bottle. Put your finger over the top, shake it up, mix all this contents in there. You know, if you don't have a child, I'm preparing you for it. That's how you do it. <laughs> all right, and see you see this right here. You want a consistency that's kind of like milkish, almost, almost, not. Not thicker, not like eggnog. I, I, I like to mix it up a, a lot, and then I will um, I'll pour a little bit out and into this and just see how it looks. And uh, I'm, I do want to mix it a little bit more, but I just want to see how it looks. That's actually a pretty good consistency, actually. It's not so much like milk. That's might need to be a little bit more watered down, but that's, huh, it's pretty good. That can definitely go through my airbrush. I'm gonna pour some of this this uh, flesh colored latex in there, like that. That's good. That's more than enough. All right. 
and we'll clean this off. Now, I don't have all the colors with me on how I would make this. So I'm gonna just kind of give you uh, a couple ways to make this. So we have our regular flesh colored latex, a little bit of water in there, and then I get some of this, no, 90 cents. Michael's, 90 cents. And I'll put some, maybe like that. Now I need to find my red, so give me one second. So here is one also from Michael's. I'm gonna zoom in. And this was uh, a, a French wine. I'm not a fan of it, but it can work, it can work. Uh, but preferably, I like to use a, a, a dark scarlet. Now, a little goes a long way. Not very much. Less than I did with the brown. And I will clean off this brush. The end of it. And I will start mixing. Now, I haven't even had water yet. There was a little bit of water at the bottom. Let me see. See how that, see that? Kind of looks a little, sort of like, 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 like it's looking a little pinkish because that red hit that, the standard flesh and it's creating this. But it's okay, I'm not. Not done yet. Sorry, you can't. See, I, 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 I did not realize you couldn't see. We'll keep mixing. Looks a little. Looks a little pinkish. Totally fine. Not a problem. And then I like to take some of like a raw umber. i oh, sorry, a raw sienna or a burnt umber. And I like to throw some of that in there as well. Eh, that was actually a lot. Um, that was actually a lot. Oops. It's okay. It's does. It's, I mean, it's fixable. It's very fixable. But take that, kind of do that little mixing thing, and then we're gonna water it down a little bit. We're not gonna completely water it down. We're gonna water it down, like I said, just enough so I can get it in this water bottle right here. And now we'll transfer. Now, guys. Now. This is just a flesh color I use. There's a lot of, you know, people use it. There's a lot of people who use different flesh colors. Yeah. That looks pretty good. So now I will take more of my brown. Throw it in here. So I know it looks like it's a lot of paint and I know it does, but I, I, I can promise you, I don't get cracks. Add a little bit more water. And just like the other bottle, we'll go ahead and put this top on. Make sure it's secure and tight. Don't over tighten it. You can see if it's not on its uh, threads. And just do this. And you see the color right there? Keep doing it. It's going to start changing just a little bit. You're going to start seeing the change. Now this isn't the actual color I do, well, I mean, this is what I do, but usually what I do is a little bit more on the red side, but uh, this, this is totally fine. This is doable because I there's another step in which I do to create the, the, the flesh that I use. So this is what this looks like. Let's do this. And boom, you have some flesh. See how dark this is? It's really dark. So that's 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 the flesh I've used in the past. But what I like to do is after I spray it with whatever color flesh it's going to be, doesn't matter. What I like to do is is go through my airbrush, water down some brown, and and, and highlight my mask with some brown accents. The moment that that white hits that like the mixture of this red or this color with some brown on it, it's gonna create this new kind of color. Now, usually, like I said, I go more red like that, but this is just an example. If I wanted to go more red, I'd add some more reds to this, obviously. 
But that's a mixing tutorial. I know, I mean, I didn't go super in depth, but that's essentially how I do it. Well, everyone, thank you so much for watching. This concludes this video on how I mix my paints. If you have any questions, please drop them in the comment section down below. In the next video, I will be showing you how I remove the hair from the mask, as well as the painting process. Hope to see you guys there. Take care. Have a wonderful night.